Hey guys, welcome to another video I have not posted in a long time, so this might be a little, a little rough because <laughs> I haven't posted in such a long time. But I wanted to share a Halloween haul with you guys. I kind of went crazy um, now that I'm like taking everything out. I didn't realize I bought that much, but now that it's like all in front of me, I guess I did. Um, but I have been collecting for like the last couple months. Like it wasn't all in one shopping trip. Like it has been like over the last two months because if you, if you decorate every year, you know that this, this stuff comes out like the end of July and if you don't pick it up when you see it you ain't gonna get it so um some of the stuff I've had just in bags <laughs> and uh I'm ready to do a haul because I I honestly didn't think I bought this much but I guess I did and yeah I'm gonna start off with the stuff that I bought at Goodwill because I did buy those I think first or there were some of the first things I bought and then just keep in mind, my mom, my niece, um, and then a friend um, have also bought in things for me. So if I'm not at the store, they'll message me, do you want this? Do you want that? So, you know, we have kind of like open communication between all of like my sisters. We always like get each other stuff or um, my friends. So we pick up stuff like if we're at the store, whatever, like that's just, you know, that's that's what we do but um i'm gonna get started the first thing i'm gonna share with you guys is this big old candy holder i want to say it's like for candy but now that i'm reading it i mean it says you could put it in the microwave but i don't know why you would put this in the microwave but i bought this at goodwill and it was i want to say 549 i took off the price tag because i washed it it's originally from kohl's and it was originally 24.99 i would not buy this for 24.99 but they had it at goodwill and i snatched it up and i just think it's cool like if you have a display or a coffee bar you can put your cake cups in here um, you could put candies like in your entrance. You could really use this for anything. And I want to say I have smaller ones of these from like prior years. But this one's huge. It's like as big as my head. So I got this one. Just going to put it back here. Then from Goodwill, I have uh, one more thing, I think. Yeah, just this other thing. I bought this... Uh, it's just a metal uh, pail, but I was thinking you can use this outside. Like I might take off these little, little hinges and uh, or this handle and put it outdoors and put like a small mum, like not a big one, a small one. I do have one of these from Kirkland's. That's just um, it has the same like pattern in the front, but it's like galvanized and rusty. And I guess that's my vibe I'm going for in the like my porch area so this was 99 cents so i thought it was a good deal and hopefully a cute little mom popping out would be cute on my sitting on my porch i think that's all i got from goodwill um i'm gonna move on to i have like literally stuff everywhere so i'm just gonna just move along to whatever i pick up um i purchased these off of amazon these are like uh, molds, um, silicone molds, but I picked these up because I just thought these are so cute. They're the same thing, but these were $11. I'll link them down below, so if you're interested, but these are $11 uh, for a pack of two, and I just, I like this one and the little ghost, but uh, me and my sister do things with like the kids uh, She has two kids and then my daughter and we like to do like small activities with them So we thought we could do those hot uh, Hot chocolate bombs with these, you know, we've never done them So we want to try and it's just something uh, for the kids to try out or for the kids to do and put like little marshmallows and hot cocoa in them but yeah these i think will go up if you don't get them like now because that's how amazon works like the more people are searching for them the more like the higher the price they go so i thought these would were cute but i did see target has like a bigger one and it's almost the same price it's for like 12 dollars, and they are like circle jack-o-lanterns 
and they're really cute so if you don't want to order from amazon um target does have like some silicone molds that are cute but i had already bought these and i was not gonna return them and then let's see i picked up some stuff for my bathroom because i normally decorate for like every holiday in like the bathroom but i don't have like a shower curtain for halloween um I just certain stuff I don't have for Halloween so I picked up this uh, what is this so soap, soap pump um, I wasn't gonna get this because I did get some soaps from Bath and Body Works but you know my niece convinced me you know she's all into like spooky season so I went ahead we both actually got this one and I just thought it was cute I usually always use these anyways like for Christmas but I got the little ghost. This was from Marshalls. It was $4.99. And then um, speaking of bathroom, I did pick up some things for my bathroom. And I wasn't at the store. My niece was. And she usually goes to like the ones that are far. The ones that have the, you know, the good stuff. Um, the ones by us never have anything. But this shower uh, shower curtain was $14.99 and this one I don't know if you can tell the pattern maybe I'll just rip it open but this one is like the fabric kind and this is what I wanted I wanted the fabric not the plastic ones because they come out with like the plastic ones and I don't really care for those because you know I won't reuse the plastic ones these I can wash and then reuse um, so the pattern I'm just gonna rip it so you guys can see the pattern this is the the cutest one I well that she showed me but it has like the haunted house or is that a store I don't know it says black cat cafe then it has a creepy tree and then it has it has like a the little truck with the the witch and then it has another witch and a cauldron so it just has a whole bunch of different things on it. But anyways, this one was the cutest that she showed me. And, you know, they're hard to come by. It does have a haunted house as well. Let me see if I can show you guys. No, the pattern is hard to see. But um, they are um, hard to come by as far as, like, the, you know, material ones. The ones that are, like, cotton. So I got this for my main bathroom or, like, the guest bathroom. And then I got a Ray Dunn rug because, and I want to say I have a rug, but I don't know if I do. I don't know. But I went ahead and got this one. If I don't use this one for with the curtain, then I will use this in my bathroom. I wish I would have gotten a curtain for my bathroom, but oh well. Um, this one was $14.99 as well, and it just says, Happy Halloween, and it is a pretty nice and big bathroom rug i have not bought any bathroom rugs from ray dunn so this is the first one so if this one goes well maybe i'll eventually buy more but um i wanted to buy this bathroom mat so i got that to go for the bathroom and then as far as towels for the bathroom this one my niece gave me and these are little ghosts um these are more like actual like towel towels these are little ghost um, towels, and I think she took off the price. Yeah, she took off the price, but she gave these to me, and I just think these are so cute, the little ghosts. Like, these little ghosts are very on trend right now, and even, like, the pillows and stuff. But she got me those to go for my bathroom. And speaking of towels, these are kitchen towels, which I got, but now that I look at them... I don't know I don't know why I got them but I just I didn't know if I wanted to keep them or no I had a coupon for these that's why these were $7.99 and I had a $10 coupon which you know I bought something else so I made them kind of free so I bought these as a hocus pocus it just says wicked witch enchanted brooms um, these come with a set of four so these are the type that don't dry so I don't use them really for the kitchen I use them more for display to put like on my little towel ladder but 
yeah this one is really cute um i i like the more vibrant orange not so much the muted orange but either way these are really cute then these i'm all into gnomes like gnomes are my thing to a certain extent but you know when my daughter was uh, a lot younger i would decorate more cutesy because you know obviously for her um now i i still do i mean i mean i still do so i don't know what i'm talking about never mind scratch what i was just saying but i got these these are the little gnomes these towels now these dry a little bit better these come in a pack of three these were from tj maxx if i didn't say these ones were from marshall's these ones were from marshall's these ones are from tj maxx these were 9.99 these ones were more expensive um but they do have the little gnomes on the back these ones do dry a little bit more so i could use these i could actually use these um but i don't know now that i'm looking at them i'm like why did i buy these again i mean they're cute but i don't know if i'll go with this theme so yeah i think i still have the receipt if if i want to go ahead and return them then i bought this for my daughter this is a reusable treat bag and it just says boo and i just thought it was cute the inside what what's neat it was 4.99 from marshall's um is like the type that you can clean and then once she doesn't want to use it then i'll use it as like a reusable bag so it will definitely not go to waste as you know the buckets normally just go to waste so i got her this one they had other ones but that was the cutest one then i did go to bath and body works with my mom and my niece and we picked up some stuff not a lot because they didn't have anything like once that stuff came out like the cute bath and body Works stuff that stuff was gone like it was gone so fast but i did pick up this soap soap dispenser this was 12.95 and I did get this soap, which is the Wicked Apple, the Halloween one. So I can stick in here. And I want to say this glows in the dark. But, I, so I bought this one and now I have this one. But I can use it in either one of my bathrooms. So I think one can go in each bathroom. But I did get this one. The soaps were, I don't know how much I got them. Because I think I bought like four of them and I started using one of them already but I don't know like I want to show you guys the packaging that Bath and Body Works has now this is from this year the Wicked Apple and then this is I've had this for like over a couple years and I only bring it out you know and I refill it with the whichever one like I can refill it but I love the packaging of before like the old ones i want to say this is from a couple years ago i i'm pretty sure it is but they used to have like really really cute like packaging and now it's kind of just like uh it's whatever i did get this green because you know the the green i don't know it reminds me of halloween so i went ahead and got that one this one uh this scent is what is this one uh I don't know I don't know it doesn't say and then the other one that I got is the afternoon apple picking and then I got pumpkin apple but the pumpkin apple is almost gone but those three cents then I got some mugs from Marshall's or TJ Maxx I don't know my niece and my mom got these for me these are the little ghost mugs. These, the brand is Market Finds. Um, and these were $3.99. But I got this one, the black with the little ghost. And then I got the white one. The white one's super cute too. And what I like about these, these are huge. Like they're big. And they stack. So you can definitely stack them up like on your coffee bar. And they display really well so like if you buy a stack of four I don't know would they like tip over I don't think so because of you know the little lip down here is pretty big but I did get these <sighs> let's see um, I'm going to hold on okay so 
I have some stuff from the 99 cent store. So if you guys don't like, I, I mean, I have a lot more stuff to go. So I, it's a, it's going to be a pretty big haul. So uh, you might want to go ahead and get a drink or something <laughs> because I'm already like, where's my water at? Um, but I picked these up from the 99 cent store. Well, my niece did because, uh, she was at the store and she picked them up for me these are the ones that have like the candy i think you could put candies up here um so i got this one these are 9.99 they say they're candy bowls um but they're from the 99 cent store i got this one because i couldn't decide which one i wanted and then i got this one but i don't know i don't know if i'm gonna keep the cat i don't know the cat is like more of that vintage vibe which I don't decorate for but I wanted to still have the option because these go super fast I've been trying to get a hold of these for like the last couple years that the 99 cent store has come out with them and I can never find them or they they go too quick so I wanted to have the option I might just keep the other one and I might get rid of this one or I might return it or I might ask somebody if they want this one but these are super cute. Like I said, $9.99. Um, they're a decent size. I don't know how big they are. Then also from the 99 cent store, I, um, my mom and my niece were at the store and I just told them, give me them. And then it, whatever I don't like, then I'll return because I rather have them than not have them. So they found these runners and this I might use for my living room because I do the black and white, but, and I have some pillow covers like this but it this is like embroidered so these are really nice and I don't know the size of this does it still have the tag no this is a pretty large and it has it on like both sides but I normally use these for like where my tv stand is it's just easier to use a table runner than um it is to just buy anything else and then they also had the uh the what are these called the napkins like the for the kitchen table it came with two of them for $1.99 and I got two like two and then another so a set of four for my table because if I was to ever set my table it would be a set of four so I did get these you can also what you could do with these and that's what I was um telling my sister you can actually take these apart and use like these two together and if you sew or you know somebody that sews they can sew them together and make pillow covers for you if you wanted to do that the other set i got i think i'm gonna return um i'm not gonna use like now that i'm looking at it and i stare at it more i'm definitely not gonna use them but they're cute i mean i just wanted to have the option um they're these the ones with the little ghosts and it comes with a set of two but i think i'm going to return it so these are a set of four and then um oh this is the table runner see how it has the ghost with this pattern this was 3.99 so so was the other one but like i said i don't think i'm gonna go with this theme and color i mean it's cute for somebody that goes with these you know goes with that vibe but not me um Let's see. I'm going to move on to like some Ray Dunn. I still collect Ray Dunn. I don't do it as often. I don't go hunting. I just, I don't know. It's just not for me. Like if I find it in store, then I find it in store. If I don't, you know, I'm not going to be running out and I, I'm just not going to do it <laughs> anymore. It's just, uh, my friend in California, she, um, if she finds it, then she'll ask me if I want it. And then we just kind of like mail it out to each other. So I got some mugs. Uh, I didn't think I got that many, but I guess I did. She got me the green potion one, which this one's super cute. As you know, Ray Dunn mugs are $5.99. So she got me this one. My niece got me this one. It's the the trick-or-treat one with the orange inside and then this one does have the jack-o-lanterns in the back which i'm okay with uh that and then my friend got me the psychic one with the green inside this one's super cute um 
I've been wanting this one for a while. And then my friend Rosie got me this one. It's the Happy and the Halloween with the uh, the black and the orange inside. She got me the white one, the white one with the orange inside, and the Happy Halloween. But uh, my sister got a set, and then she also got my sister got one of these. And then my niece found another one of these, and uh, one of my friends actually. Um, I asked her if she wanted one, um, so she got that one. So, yeah, but other than that, I really haven't, you know, found... Oh, no, actually, I did find something. I'll have to go get it. Um, I found this. It's a Boo Little Bird House, and it has the little bats in the back. Like, this was $20. Like, I don't know if I really want it. I mean, it's cute, but do I need it? No. Do I need any of this? No, but... It's cute and I don't have any Halloween uh, bird houses and it would be cute as a display but yeah I don't know let me go get the other thing that I got it's one other Ray Dunn item okay the last Ray Dunn item that I got and I was not hunting for this my niece found it um, and she got me and my sister one but it's this haunted house uh, mini canister from Ray Dunn. This one was $16.99. So I don't have any Halloween canisters. I don't, I just have never come across them. Actually, I'm lying. I do have some Ray Dunn Halloween canisters, but they're not like the long letter. They're like the, they're different. They're not, they're not like this, basically, what I'm trying to say. But she did find this, and she found two of them, and me and my little sister collect Ray Dunn, so we both um, ended up getting uh, one of these. But, yeah, I, you know, like I said, I don't find Ray Dunn anymore. It's hard as it is, and, you know, it is what it is. Let, you know, I, I'll let the people that really, really want it get it but I mean if I find it in store I'm not gonna leave it behind you know what I mean but let's see I'm gonna move on to whatever's in front of me I think it's Target I picked up some stuff in the dollar the Target dollar spot and I used to do like videos just dedicated to Target dollar spot but the Target dollar spot I don't know I, they've been slagging they used to have some good stuff back in the day like they used to have some really cute items but uh, lately I don't know they've just kind of been like oh whatever but I did pick these up because I want them for my mantle these were three dollars each uh I want to see once I put like um the actual battery in but these will be for my candlesticks and hopefully they they're they're cute but these I noticed were going really quick. Like a lot of the Halloween stuff is like basically all gone. Then in the Target Dollar Spot, I did find these. These are reusable, what is it? Reusable drink pouches and it comes with two paper straws. These are cute. I figured for my daughter's lunch I could use these or if we have something you know for the kids that we could give, give them drinks in here. Uh, I picked up two packs for me so this one comes with the black and white straws they actually all do and then it has the other pouch says happy halloween and like a pastel purple and then this one's the same thing i just got two packs because i rather have more than not have any then i bought these little pails for uh, we're going to do the you've been booed for like our neighbors, except we're not going to do it to our neighbors. We're going to actually go in my sister's neighborhood and do it to her neighbors because she's new to her like uh, neighborhood. So and plus there's kids over there in our neighborhood. There's no kids. And uh, we used to do the we used to do it. Me and my daughter used to do it. And I've done a couple videos with. Uh, my daughter actually doing like the you've been booed thing but uh there's no kids in our neighborhood anymore and which is sad like we don't have any kids that you know we can go take these little back baskets to but if you don't know what I'm talking about I'll post the video that me and my daughter did and I'll post it down below but I did pick these up from Target I bought two of them 
and you just fill it up with treats and then ring your your neighbor's doorbell and just leave them the little basket but i bought two of them they were 85 cents so i don't know if they were on sale that day but i just i picked those up then i did find these um sweet treats scented bath fizzers these are little bats and i bought them to put inside the little bucket and then these are actually for my daughter and my niece. They're little bat scrunchies, which I thought would be cute. I, I want to see if my daughter will wear it. She's like not into cute stuff anymore. So it's kind of hard to buy her stuff when she's not really into it anymore. But I thought this was cute and it's like velvet and it was in the Target dollar spot. So that was a dollar. Then I bought these. These are Halloween cotton candy party packs. They will be going in that bucket as well. And it's just three packets of the cotton candy in in here. And this was a dollar. And I'll, I want to do a video of the You've Been Booed because my niece and my nephew want to do it with us this year. So I think I'm going to film it because they want us to film it um, just like we used to. Um, then I got these window clings to also put in the bucket, and I thought it was cute. So you just put all kinds of, let me grab this stuff, all kinds of random stuff for, you know, your neighbor to, you know, enjoy with their kids. Oh my gosh. So I could definitely do like a dedicated video for this, but... Just in case you guys don't watch that video, I'll show you guys what I got. But I got these Halloween Warheads to put in there. The Sour Patch Kid Zombies. Um, these are the same thing. These are all a dollar in the tar I mean the, yeah, there's some of them in, are in the Target dollar spot. And then some of them are in the regular Target, like, um, candy section then I got the sour vampire bites so we'll stick all this candy in there then I got some peeps I got some ghost ones some what are these um, Frankenstein ones so those are the candies that we'll put in there for the kids then Let's see. I did pick up some stuff from Dollar Tree also to put in there. I bought, we'll put one of these in there and it's a little solar light for, you know, your neighbor. I bought two of them. I think we're going to do a total of three baskets because it's my daughter and then my nephew and my niece. Then I did, before I found those buckets at Target, I found these at Dollar Tree. Let me put this down. So I found these and I thought we could just put them in here, but then I found those cheaper. So, but either way, uh, we're going to do three. So we're going to need one of these. And then I found this one it says trick or treat. And then looks like this. And then I did find some of that black tissue paper to stick in there as well. These are from Dollar Tree as well. And we'll put those. These are window clings. These say Happy Halloween and Jack o' Lanterns for the basket. Sorry, I'm making all this noise. Then from Walmart, I found some stuff. I found this banner that just says Happy Halloween. These are like the wood ones. So I've been, I want a Halloween banner, but I haven't been able to find one. This was four dollars and 44 cents and it i think i'm gonna put this on my mantle i found a halloween um banner at tj maxx but then i didn't get it and then when i went back it was already gone so and i haven't been able to find any banner since then i also picked up these cupcake liners from walmart or the baking cups and these were 97 cents it just has how many does it have 48 count so you can make like two batches of 24 um, I bought those because I could do all kinds of little treats with uh, my daughter or my nieces 
Um, and then I bought these. I think these were $2.97. And these are sprinkle mix. And then they have like the little eyeballs. And they have all kinds of colorful colors. I thought these would be cute to make like cupcakes with my daughter. Or we can do it for the little uh, hot chocolate bombs. We can stick them in there. I also bought the um, ghost marshmallows from Walmart. And these were $0.97 cents or $0.98. Cents. And they're just little, you can't see them through here, but they're little ghosts. So I thought these were cute. If you don't pick these up now, I'm telling you, when you go, you know, wanting to do all this stuff, they're going to be gone. Like, you will not find them. Then I also found this candy decorating kit, and I thought we could use it for um, the cupcakes or cake, whatever we decide to do. But it comes with little pumpkins, bats, ghosts. I don't know what that is oh spiders and then little words that say boo on them so i thought these were cute and i went ahead and just got those then from walmart i also got these and i haven't seen them anymore these were 98 cents and they're yard um yard steaks and i got this one and then i got the the ghost that says boo but i get these so i can take to my dad or i can put them like on my porch but these are like really cute and you know these end up getting damaged but it's only a dollar so it's not bad um so i got those and then what else am i missing these little spiders i got from dollar tree i took some of them off because i wanted to show you guys you guys don't have to necessarily use them for you know you can use them for all kinds of stuff but these comes with they come with little clips and they do have the glitter but you can take off the clips and then just use them like on your display or you can use them for like a wreath. You can really use them um, for anything. But I like, I only got one pack. I should have got a couple packs, but I didn't. Let's see, what else do I have? I showed that, show that, show that. I think I, I'm done. I know that once I put everything away, I'm going to remember I have something somewhere <laughs> that I didn't end up sharing. But that is it for this haul. It's super long, I know, and I probably talk way too much, I know. But I have to explain it to you guys. Like, I'm not just going to be like this, you know. So that is it. If you like this video and then if... Uh, and if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. And yeah, hopefully I'll do like a fall haul. I don't have much, but um, I'm sure I'm, I'll am i buy more stuff uh, for fall. I'm going to be taking out my Halloween bins this week. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, give me a thumbs up and I'll talk to you guys in another one. Bye.